hello friends and uh, today we are going to learn about advantages or disadvantages of micro propagation let's take a look so let's see advantages of micro propagation micro propagation has become a suitable alternative to conventional methods of vegetative propagation of plants there are several advantages of micro propagation first one point is high rate of plant propagation so let's see it what is it and through micro propagation a large number of plants can be grown from a piece of plant tissue within a short period okay another advantage is that micro propagation can be carried out throughout the year irrespective of the seasonal variations further for many plants that are highly resistant to conventional propagation micro propagation is the suitable alternative okay so the small size propagules obtained in micro propagation can be easily stored for many years and transported across international boundaries this is our very first point second point is production of disease free plant so it is possible to produce disease free plants through micro propagation in this many uh, stem tip cultures are generally employed to develop pathogen free plants in fact micro propagation is successfully used for the production of virus free plants as like uh, some of the example is sweet potato ipomia batatas cassava and yam so that's the second one third point is production of seed in some crops so in micro propagation through axillary bird proliferation method is suitable for seed production in some plants this is required in certain plants where the limitations for seed production is high degree of genetic conservation like uh, example in cauliflower or onion that's our third point fourth point is cost effective process micro propagation requires minimum growing space that's why million of plant species can be maintained inside culture whilst in a small room in a nursery the production cost is relatively low particularly in developing countries like india where the main power and liver charges are very low fifth point is automated propagation it has now become possible to automate micro propagation at various stages in fact bioreactors have been set up for large scale multiplication of shoots and bulbs some workers employ robots uh, in place of laborers for micro propagation and this further reduce production cost of plants so these are the advantages points of micro propagation and uh, you can see one by one high rate of plant propagation production of disease free plants production of seeds and sub crops cost effective process automated propagation you just uh, need to take a gesture about the whole pointing thing and elaboration is not that type of requirement just need to know all the points now we are going to learn about the disadvantages of micro propagation so first point is contamination of cultures so during the course of micro propagation several slow growing microorganisms like caspinia species bacillus species contaminate and grow in cultures the microbial infection can be controlled by addition of antibiotic or fungicides however this will adversely influence propagation of plants so its contamination of culture second one is brewing of medium micro propagation of certain plants like a woody perennials plant is often associated with accumulation of growth inhibitory substance in the medium chemically these substances are phenolic compounds which can turn the medium into dark color phenolic compounds are toxic and non inhibit the growth of 
sorry can inhibit the growth of tissues so brewing of the medium can be prevented by the use of ascorbic acid or you can see vitamin c or citric acid or polyvinyl pyrolidone to the medium uh, that's the second point third point genetic variability when micro propagation is carried out through shoot tip cultures genetic variability is very low however use of adventitious shoot is often associated with pronounced genetic variability okay food vitrification so during the course of repeated and vitro shoot multiplexation the cultures exhibit water soaked or almost translucent leaves such type of shoots can not grow and even may die this phenomenon is referred to as vitrification vitrification may be prevented by increasing the agar concentration from 0.6 to 1% in the medium so however increased agar concentration reduce the growth rate of tissues so it is the end of our discussion these are the whole points of advantage and disadvantage of micro propagation and you need to know if you are uh, in uh, your post graduation classes or in biotech too so let me know if you have any problem then comment down below i will try to sort it out so thanks guys